Hi, this is Tim with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create and customize your customer statements in QuickBooks Online. You can view all of our QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's start today's lesson at our QuickBooks dashboard. If you don't already have a subscription to QuickBooks Online, you can get one with a free trial for 30 days with no credit card required, so you can follow along on your own computer. So today we're going to customize our customer statements. So let's first choose a customer to work with today. So I'm going to go to my sales tab, all sales. Actually, no, let's view customers. So go to the sales tab, customers. Okay, I can see the very first one, Aaron owes us $330. I'm going to click on Aaron to bring up the details. So we can see here the $330 he owes us are from two different invoices, one on March 15th, one on April 22nd, and they are both overdue um, for a total of $330. Okay, so we're looking at Aaron. We want to create a statement for him. So there are various ways uh, to do things in QuickBooks Online, always more than one way. We're viewing his customer information, so we can very easily create a statement by going to New Transactions and Statement. And it's going to give us some options here. So it's going to give us a statement date of today, and it's going to give us some statement types. Um, so let's look at the different statement types to start things off. So we'll do a balance forward, and our statement date is 524 with a start date of 424, end date of 524. So what this is going to do is it'll roll forward the balance as of 424 as the beginning balance on our statement and not show any detail of that prior activity. So that may not be great, but let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm going to click apply and here we have Aaron selected. So I'm going to preview our statement. And just as I said, it's taking the 423 balance forward, which is the entire $330, right? Because our first invoice, I believe, was March 15th, second was April 22nd. So the balance forward is $330, doesn't show any detail at all. So that's really not a terrific statement, but depending on how often you send out invoices and statements, it may be the choice for you, um, but I don't like it for this particular instance. So let's go back. I'm going to close this and let's look at a different statement type. Let's look at our open item statement. This is my favorite type of statement. So as of 524, it's going to show you the detail for any open invoices, meaning they haven't been paid yet. Click apply. We've got Aaron selected and let's do a print preview. And here we go. It's going to show us uh, invoice from March 15th, due April 15th, and the entire $70 is still due. So open amount is the unpaid amount. April 22nd invoice due February, or May 22nd, still the full 260. So this is my favorite type of invoice. Okay, um, so let's work with this invoice um, and see if we can uh, choose some different options to perhaps make it even better. So let's go ahead and let's close the statement. And now let's go to our statement options. So I'm going to show you a little shortcut here. Um, Let's go ahead and we'll have to close out of this for right now. But let's go ahead and we're going to go to our options. So go up here. Um, actually, first I want to create two screens. So let's go to our, I'm going to right click on dashboard and I'm going to say open link in new tab. So this is just a little shortcut a lot of people don't know about. You can have two tabs open in QuickBooks Online at the same time. Okay, so in our initial tab here, let's go back to where we were. Let's go to Customers, Aaron, and Create Statement. Okay, in the other tab, I want to go to our Statement Options. So we're going to go up here to our cogwheel, click uh, account and settings under your company. Just let it load. And then we're going to click on sales. And at the bottom of the sales options, we have statements. So, so let's look at what these options will do. So right now we have the option selected least, list each transaction as a single line. And so let's flip back to our invoice. I'm sorry, to our statement preview this statement 
and each transaction is just one line. So this invoice 7166 is just one line. Okay, so let's close this. Now let's change that option and see what happens. So instead of list each transaction as a single line, let's list each transaction with all of its detail. So let's save that option. Now we can just flip back here, create the statement again, and now we have all of the detail for each invoice. Gives us our due date, gives us exactly what information was on the invoice. So I kind of like the previous option where it just shows one line, um, but you may have to also send them copies of the invoices then so that they can see the details. So that's really a personal preference, kind of how you send it. If you send open invoices along with your statements, then generally you're going to want the option we had at first, which is just one line. If you don't want to have to send copies of invoices with your statements, then perhaps this will suffice. Okay, so that's the first option we can select. Let's go ahead and close this. And the second option we can select, so let's click down here in statements again. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to a single line because that's the way I prefer it. Um, and then it's showing an aging table at the bottom of the statement. That's the second option. Let's select that. I really like this option. Let's save it. Go back to customers. If you're already looking at the invoice here, you're going to have to close it and reopen it in order for the changes to take effect. We've already closed it, so let's reopen it by going to print. Now we're back to a single line for each invoice and we have an aging table. The aging table, I really don't see much of a downside to including the aging table, um, so I would certainly recommend it, but perhaps, again, every business is a little different. Perhaps you don't want the pressure on your clients of showing the aging table, um, but it's certainly an option. I like it. I would always include it on my statements. And there we go. That's how you customize your statements in QuickBooks Online. I appreciate your time. You can view our other QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.